What's going on guys? This is your boy Mr. 75 Caprizi with another video. Today guys we are here in Morales Auto Tram where we are going to be picking up the plow truck. Yeah that bad boy right there. Look at it. It went from giving him money to losing money. Oh well. At least it was a donor for me. One of my dad's friends. Uh, my dad's friends, well he got the motor. He needed a motor. So he took the motor and for me well you know we needed parts for la felix so that's the reason why it was a donor plus as y'all can see it's pretty bad and rough condition look at this <whistles> all this rust yeah so it was fun while it lasted so yeah there's not much left on the truck that's available um Besides like the seats, console and stuff, the dash, so probably gonna be selling those if anybody's interested. It's got two uh, bucket seats, you know, the stock ones that come with these trucks, they're navy blue. I got the door panels, the center console, and the dash. So if anybody needs parts, this is gonna be available. They already, the seats are removed already, so they're ready to go. Door panels are removed as well, so I got blue door panels, blue seats, and blue console available. And I guess the wheels, if anybody's interested in the wheels with tires, it's all, all four wheels with tires. I think that's pretty much it. I don't really see much interest in it. Uh, or should I say any interesting parts we should take off. How rusty this thing is. You even got a spare tire. I bet you it's hard to take it off. Probably all rusty and stuff. Yeah, well, to the junkyard it goes. But um, I wanted to show you guys, he got a pickup that he's trying to sell me. It's a 90, 90 something, it's a, it's a OBS, it's like this one, it's in the front. So we're gonna drive around the building and show you guys uh, the truck he got for sale and see what he's talking about, so come on. And here it is guys, this is the short bed he's trying to sell me. Can you with? Oh, it's a 95, just like the Felix. Got newer headlights. And it also got like the 2500 bumper. You guys see, it's got the the big holes right here. So they upgraded. Well, they changed the bumper. I'm not gonna say upgrade because it's not an upgrade. It's just a 2500 or the bigger uh, heavy duty truck got those. Um, I see it's got three 454 wheels. Which of those? I don't know if he has the back. Oh, he has the fourth one. See, he's missing one, but it's over here. It's got a row pan. Don't look too bad on the paint. Uh, it's not the greatest. Looks like they've been working on the cab corners. The rockers. Let's check it out. It's got manual windows. Looks like they plastic dip. I'm guessing that was the color before. Like this neon yellow color. I don't know if they replaced the rocker, so that yeah, it has rocker replaced. You can see them right here. So rockers have been replaced, and I'm guessing the cab corners have been replaced because they got some bondo there. Oh, but it does got some nice seats, some diamond stitch. Got a console. It's got 212,000 miles. Single then radio canvas. That's an old school right there. Got a new carpet. It's got a sunroof. With sway. See what the uh, engine looks like. Yep, 
Yep, similar to La Felix motor. Got the 5.7, 350. And yeah, that color's everywhere, so that was definitely the color before. This one has been replaced. You can see it right here. Got the whole man. So the whole rocker has been replaced. Hey guys, what y'all think? Should we add this one or should we just leave it? But like I said, it is available. So if you guys are interested, it is located at Morales Auto Trim in Plano, Illinois. So you guys can contact them. They are trying to get rid of it for a good price They've got the aftermarket LED tail light so it's a decent little project car so yeah I'm gonna think on it it's not like I can take it right now I got a truck and the tow truck anyway so but like I said if I pass on it you guys are more than welcome to get their information and contact them for purchase well guys time to head back to the shop See what else we get to today. All right, guys, we got some stuff in the mail. This right here is going to be a Power Master alternator high output. It's going to be for the Felix because since I ever seen this truck, I think the alternator was smoking. And we we're supposed to replace it before before we brought it actually back from Miami But I guess we didn't it still has the same one that I seen and when I seen that truck for the first time And we tried starting it, it was just smoking so Something's going on with the alternator and at this point it's not even charging so we went and got a little bit better than stock This is a power master. I ordered this one from Amazon so Y'all can get this from Amazon Looks pretty decent. Probably show you guys when I install this. Also, guys, we got some headlights. These are just gonna be like factory look um, headlights. These are going to be for the colors. This is the housing, so we can put LEDs because the factory ones you cannot replace the. The bulb so this one is just the housing they have a hole in the back I don't know if you guys can see there's a hole back there so we're gonna be installing these and I'm guessing these are the LEDs so we got LEDs so yeah we are changing the headlights on the cutlass also got these from Amazon they were pretty cheap I think the housings were like $20 for two of them and I think the LEDs were like $38. So I'll be showing you guys how this ones are gonna look once we get the car back. We are actually on our way to go pick it up. We're gonna be taking the tow truck. So yes, we're gonna be on our way to uh, Chrome Depot to go pick it up since it's done. It actually has been done since Saturday, but Marco was out of town. He just got back in town last night. So we're gonna go check it out and uh, pick it up and see if you guys like it, so. All right, guys, we finally made it out here with the Cutlass. And I must say, this thing looks pretty nice. Came out pretty slick. Um, man, I just, I'm just gonna show you guys because this thing looks, looks really nice. I, I, I like the stands. And let's just show you the car. And here it is, guys. Bam! Check it out, gang. Wheels are on. Brand new 24 inch billet specialties. Suck that the rain caught us. 
so now it's all dirty. Y'all see, still got the stickers on the tires. But man, they were not lying when they said that these wheels go right on without nothing. These are 24 by nines in the front and 24 by tens, I believe, in the back. Man, I, this wheel is so nice, guys. It just makes the car pop more with like all the chrome and stuff. I like it guys. Can't wait to clean it up and stuff. Take the T-tops off. Whew. That wheel is just so nasty. You guys see, it's got like the brush finish and it's got like the polished windows. You guys can see there's no cut and it's not touching the frame. There's no frame notch. So, they didn't lie. The wheel did go on without any frame notch because this car does not have no frame notch, guys. 24 is right. Usually, like I say, when you put wheels on a G-Body, you got a frame notch because the back of the wheel hits the frame. But Billet Specialties got an offset pavement that will clear the frame. Look at guys, they're in there too. Not like they poke out. They have a nice little squad or tuck, you know. Still ain't got no music, so when it has music, you know, it should be able to clear. In the front, no cutting. You see it, all the trim is there. The inside, you might see the little, the frame rub, uh, maybe when you turn all the way. But you know, that's just in a lot of cars. When you uh, turn the big wheels all the way, it's gonna hit the frame. But I like it, guys. So I need all of y'all to get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this. Was it a good purchase on the 24 inch billets? Or we should have left the stock. I'm loving it guys. This thing looks so nice. It, it don't even look like the same car. Can't wait to put this one next to the Monte Carlo. They're gonna look good together. Makes me not even want get to get rid of neither of them. Look at that. Super nice. This is a nice day too. I don't want to be driving it because it's wet outside so it's gonna get dirty regardless. Gotta clean it up and stuff. Oh yeah, and check out, we got the matched steering wheel. That's the reflection from the T-top, guys. But I still gotta get this wrap to match the, the red interior. So we're gonna be doing that as well. But for the most part, I think it's coming out very slick. Uh, I like it. Like I said, these wheels just make a difference on the car. I don't know. <laughs> it's nice. But yeah, guys, we're gonna head back to Joliet. I'm out, I'm out loaded up on the tow truck and head back. I don't want to catch no traffic. I already caught the rain. So at least it's not raining right now and I can show you guys the car. So gotta get back and try to clean both of these cars. I'm trying to do a vlog with both of them together. See the differences on the G bodies and see which one are we gonna keep. Either we're gonna keep one or two or none. You know how that goes. So that is what we're gonna be figuring it out. But um, right now we're gonna give a little spin to see how it feels. Let's see if it rubs. Hopefully not, guys. Where's the cheese? Oh, there, there, there. Uh, let's go. Oh, did I even drive this car? I think I did drive this. We might have to put some exhaust. It's too quiet now. At least the wipers work.
Don't that wheel look so good in here, guys? Just wait on it when it's all color matched. It's gonna look better. Well, it don't feel bad at all. I haven't heard no rub, so. Okay, there's a little rub right there in the back, but we're just gonna have to take a look at it, see what it is, but overall, nothing big. Oh, this guy will sit there right there. We gotta load up, guys. Alright guys, well, time to load her up and head back to Joliet. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Good in a G body. <laughs>